Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's talk about the AMD laptop processor. If you recall uh, guys, uh, I have posted some videos on uh, some laptops based on the AMD Ryzen uh, processor and quite a few of you have asked me to explain why I'm doing this. For example, uh, still I'm um, the two that I reviewed earlier were based on the Ryzen 3000 series 3500U processor that were launched in 2019. But the latest ones are the Ryzen 4000 series and guys, I'm just Going to talk about the uh, mobile processors that are used in laptops not going to talk about the desktop processor and stuff and um, right now some of you have asked me I just want to address this question first uh, why am I reviewing some of the uh, AMD uh, Ryzen uh, 5 3500 series laptops because this processor was released last year and the thing is that the new Ryzen 4000 series processors yes they have come but uh, the laptops based on that are actually pretty expensive as of now in India uh, costing almost about 15 to 18,000 more and India being a cost uh, competitive market uh, I was reviewing that I will also be reviewing some Ryzen 4000 series uh, based laptops in fact I was the first in India to actually uh, uh, put out a video on the Ryzen 4000 uh, series processor with the Asus Zephyrus G14 that was the first so I have covered it uh, but let's first talk about these processors because many of you know about Intel uh, processors and uh, if I broadly divide Intel processors uh, into three that's the core i3 that we have the lo lowest then we have the mid tier that is the core i5 then on the higher end we have the core i7 and now we even have the core i9 and again in intel also we have specific parts for laptops that's known as the u processor these are used in thin and light laptops like this and uh, they consume very less power generally about 15 watts that's the same case even with amd first let's talk about the amd 3000 series uh, of uh, these uh, mobile processors uh, that were launched in 2000 2019 and the big difference is that uh, and we, if I compare we have to compare it with Intel Core i8 generation uh, Intel is still stuck on 14 nanometer process for making their chips uh, but AMD uh, even for the 3000 series was making the, those chips on 12 nanometer process hence uh, they are a little bit more efficient and if you look at this uh, screenshot uh, from Antec this gives us an idea about all the chips uh, as you can see uh, uh, broadly we can divide these Ryzen chips into three for example Ryzen 3 Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7 and even Ryzen 9 is there and this you can relate to the Intel counterparts but let's talk uh, look at this uh, uh, screenshot and as you can see let's start with the uh, Ryzen uh, 3 3300 U uh, and the big thing is that in AMD uh, U stands for ultralight uh, and thin and laptops uh, and their TDP is just 15 watts. We also have a higher end series that is used for gaming laptops or for beefier laptops. Uh, those are with H. If the processor name ends with H, those are the H series. And as you can see, mainstream will be that it starts with that 3300U and uh, this actually has four cores uh, and uh, actually the base variant has just four threads. But if we move to the Ryzen 5, which I've reviewed, if you look at it, that's the 3500U. This has actually four uh, cores, but eight threads, like hyper threading, what Intel also adds. So the Windows operating sees it has eight threads. And again, the TDP is still 15 watts. Uh, and it also has slightly better GPU. If you notice the last portion, it says that Vega 8 with the 3500U. That is the integrated GPU. That is the graphic processor that is built on this chip. So we have Vega 8 with 3500U whereas with the 3300 that's slightly lower you have the Vega 6 uh, and also the clock frequency will also change as you can see now if we move to the higher end that's the Ryzen 7 that's the 3700U uh, this is also a 4 core 8 thread but if you notice uh, the clock frequency is changed and even the turbo frequency what it can ramp up is a lot higher than the Ryzen 5 and it has that Vega 10 chips and if you look we also have two other chips that is the H series these are high performance chips hence the TDP of this one is 35 watts way more than 15 hence for gaming laptops or special case laptops where you require a lot of processing these H series will uh, use and still in India we are still getting a lot of laptops with this uh, 3000 series of uh, what is it chips those were launched in 2019 because now uh, those laptops have become very affordable you can get in the price range of about 35 to about uh, 50,000 
whereas now the latest ones are the new AMD uh, Ryzen 4000 series of these mobile chips that are used in laptops. These were launched in early 2020 in CES and the big difference is that these are actually now made on 7 nanometer processor and this is a big huge uh, leap. The latest Intel uh, laptop processors are uh, basically the 10th generation what we call. Uh, many of them are still actually on 14 nanometer. Yes, some of them are on 10 nanometer. For example, this one has this is the Acer Swift 5. This one is having a 10th generation one that is based on 10 nanometer but uh, many of the core i7 models of Intel are still stuck at 14 nanometer. So that gives a huge advantage to AMD in terms of the performance that they can give. These actually chips run a lot cooler and give great, great battery life and the big thing what in, uh, AMD has done now is uh, if you look at this uh, next uh, screenshot if I open this one uh, look at this these are the U series of processor that the 4000 series one I've been talking about and if you look at it even from the base variant that's the Ryzen 3 4300U this is also a proper quad core processor that means it has four cores and the cache has been increased to six and uh, but the graphic cores have be, uh, been reduced to five but these are more efficient and still a 15 watt next if we move to this mainstream i think so this uh, the 4500u ryzen 5 we'll find in a lot of mid-range uh, laptops moving on in 2020 and this one is actually not a quad core but a proper six core chip intel in their laptop line even the highest end simply does not have anything uh, they are mostly stuck to that f a quad core processor but this is a true six core processor and if you notice uh, the cache is also increased to 11 megabyte and as it's based on seven nanometer process uh, we get huge uh, improvement in the performance we get a huge leap in performance and next uh, if we look at uh, the next one uh, that is the 4600u uh, this is also a six core processor, but this has something like hyper threading. So Windows operating system sees it as 12 threads. So this is special. So uh, again, in terms of performance, it will be great, but still uh, they managed to keep it at uh, 15 watt. Uh, so great. And next we have, this is the Ryzen 7 series. That is the 4700U. And this is actually a eight core. Yes, eight proper cores on a laptop you are getting with that one and again we have one more higher variant that is the 4800u which is also actually a eight core but again this has something like hyper threading that means windows will see it as 16 threads this is something not seen in the laptop uh, world and this demolishes Intel. In fact, uh, the integrated GPU performance also of these new um, uh, graphic cores is way better than Intel. And uh, th these are the regular U series, that is the 15 watt performance ones. Uh, but uh, AMD had also released that head series, as I told you, for performance related stuff like high end gaming laptops, etc. And uh, in this, uh, they have the 4600 edge which is again a six core processor but again uh, we have 12 threads on that uh, we also have the 4800 which is octa core eight eight cores and 16 threads and we also have that uh, ryzen 9 that is the 4900 h uh, which has a tdp of 45 here some of them have a tdp of 35 so again broadly not to confuse you uh, for mainstream thin and light laptops, I would say you should look at the U series of processor. But if you are sorted to what do you say, very heavy work like daily do, intensive video editing, lot of gaming, or even let's say CAD CAM kind of a stuff, then you should look at the H series of processor. Uh, which are actually very very powerful and as of now in 2020 these uh, new uh, AMD Ryzen 4000 series of chips just demolish uh, Intel in their laptop market that's the uh, guys you all always know me I try to uh, bring you products which give you the best bang for buck that is why I uh, uh, am reviewing some of the Ryzen parts the 4000 ones also I will be doing they will be launching very soon in India but again in India as of now there is a huge price difference between the Ryzen 3000 series, let's say this 3500U and the 4500U, almost about 15 to 18,000 price point difference, which is actually huge uh, in the Indian market. Blame GST and the import taxes or whatever. But in India, the pricing is definitely way higher. I hope that changes. But uh, 
I hope this video helps you in uh, to get an idea about the Ryzen uh, processor, the 3000 series as well as the 4000 series. So the 3000 series will continue. I think so this will go in the budget uh, range and economy laptops and some of the new premium laptops that will be coming out will be with that 4000 series. And again, uh, for thin and light, it's the U series for high performance at the end, you'll have that H. I hope uh, this video makes sense. Uh, again, guys, a uh, lot of stuff coming up on the channel. So if you are still not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.